Today on Cruise Man's Garage, we're going to be replacing these OEM passenger grab rails on a 2018 Goldwing with these brand new super cool grab rails from the 2020 Honda Goldwing Tour. So I want to let you know that CycleMax.com provided us with these grab rails so we could make this video and do a quick review. Thank you CycleMax.com. Now to get started, we need to remove the side covers from the left and right side of the motorcycle. And once we remove those side covers, we need to remove the seat. Now, if you don't know how to do this or you've never done it before, check out my 2018 plus Honda Goldwing maintenance videos because I go into great detail on how to do all of these things. Now, once we have the seat removed, we're going to need to remove these four 12 millimeter bolts that hold the handrails in place. I'm using a 12 millimeter socket with a ratchet handle and a small extension. And if this is your first time removing these, they may be on there very tight, so be prepared for that. You want to hold your hand under here to support as you remove these bolts because you don't want this to fall and hit your uh, saddlebag. And remember, there's a couple of washers underneath here, and you want to make sure that the washers and the bolts both come off. I'm going to go ahead and loosen the bolts on the left side grab handle, but I'm not going to remove them all the way. We've got something else we need to do first. Here you can see the helmet lock release cable. We have to remove this cable before we can remove the left grab handle. I'm going to use a small flathead screwdriver to pop that cable out from this little stay that's mounted to the grab handle. So we'll just pop it straight out. And once you do that, if you pull that cable forward, you can then release the little barrel from the holder as shown here. And we're just going to let this sit. Now we can go ahead and remove that left grab handle. When installing our new left grab handle, we want to make sure to grab that cable and put it underneath as I'm doing here you want to make sure it's to the outside of the mounting hole. And one thing you'll notice, you do get new hardware with this kit, and instead of 12 millimeter bolts and washers, Honda has gone with a 10 millimeter bolt head instead. So I'm just going to go ahead and screw down these bolts, but not completely tighten them at the beginning. Now we want to replace that metal barrel back into the holder on the new grab rail. And once we get that in place, we can then reinstall that nylon holder into the stay on the new grab rail. This is what it should look like when installed correctly. And remember, these new grab rails come with 10 millimeter bolt heads instead of 12 millimeter. So just make sure you have the correct socket before you start tightening everything down. Now you could use a torque wrench to tighten these two proper torque specs. I don't really think that's necessary. You don't ever really need to over tighten any of these things, but I do want them firmly tightened. Now we're ready to install the right side passenger grab handle. And I already had the rearmost bolt in place just to kind of hold it in place. And now I'm just going to tighten it down with a 10 millimeter socket, just like I did on the left side. Very simple to install. And of course, once we have our grab handles completely tightened down that you feel comfortable, they're secure, then it's just a matter of reinstalling your seat 
reinstalling your side covers, and the job is done. These new passenger grab rails not only look fantastic, they make it easier for the passenger to hold on, they give you great tie-down points for luggage on your rear seat, but what I want to know is, can I now get the bike up on the center stand easier than before? Let's give it a try. Oh yeah, much easier. You can order these new 2020 passenger grab rails for your 2018 or 2019 Honda Goldwing from CycleMax.com. I'll put a link in the description of this video for ordering. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.